Boxing King Media and Association with Boxro for the first time ever. I don't ever think I thought I would interview Tyan Booth. Why did you not think that though? Don't you think I'm suitable? You're a big channel, Boxing Media. 150,000 subscribers, yeah? I think it was more a case of like, whenever I see you online, you're, you're either drinking or you're drunk or you're, you're slating people. And I've got to be careful, man. I'm trying to build relationships and not break them. Do you know what it is? Like, sometimes I think, like, I might have to cross over, you know, you know, to the corporate world and try and get a job on the zone. But I think I'm in too deep, you know. I'm in too deep, bro. Because, like, just say the main man at the zone. We're at a the zone event now, yeah? KSI versus Swarm's press conference. You know, if the main man from the zone like, offered me a job, yeah? Somebody would send him like footage of me dissing the zone saying I cancelled my subscription. You know them ones? Some haters, some little fucking connors. To be honest, I generally don't think there's any chance of you working on the zone just based on some of the stuff you've done. Um, so what brings you to London today anyway? Are you looking to call out one of these YouTuber guys? Are you wanting a influencer type fight? You're an influencer now. Yeah, I'm not really into the calling out business. It's a bit corny, you know what I mean? You know when people like boxers pretend to hate their opponents and they start trying to... We just watched that press conference there, you know, with KSI and that. some of it was cringe, you know, the undercard fight, so I'm not that guy, I've just come here to this, you know, I've got my YouTube channel, Ty FL TV, so, you know what I mean, uh, just come to get a few views and that. Looking at the uh, undercard, was there any guys on there you thought, you know what, I won't mind having a bit of a scrap, scrap with one of them, I'm get, I guess you ain't seen any of them fight before. I don't know any of these guys, you know, I only know KSI and his brother Deji, that's all I know, you know what I mean, I didn't research... So when I interviewed some of the undercard today, I was just talking a lot of shit. Because I don't know, so I was kind of just like freestyling, but yeah, it was a bit dead. But it's all content, innit? And you mentioned your YouTube channel there. Can I ask what, you know, what was the inspiration behind you know, the, the name of your channel? I ripped off Krugan's name, didn't I? Krugan's here today, he's been staring at me, giving me dirty looks, you know what I mean? I hadn't spoke to him at all. I spoke to Umar, IFL Umar, but I ain't spoke to Krugan, man. He keeps staring at me, but... It's all good, man. It's all good. So, what are the plans for your channel? Are you looking to continue doing your talks, and you know, you, you get you get views, man. You get views. You get decent views, but it's, it's like it's like these guys here. Them these guys started off playing FIFA. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm gonna get to that level, but it's all about expanding. You know, beyond just sitting on my settee in my living room drinking Echo Fours Rose. I love doing that, and I'll continue to do it. I might cut back on the alcohol, though. You know, to try and get in the in the ring and fight again. Cause I I, I even had a bigger buzz in life since I had my last fight, you know, against uh, Marcus Morrison about four years ago, you know what I mean? He's boxing for the British title, I beat him easily. He's only a four-rounder, but still, he was a good boss, you know what I mean? So, I'm trying to get that boss back, you know, and have a little YouTube fight, but it's a problem though, because these guys here, yeah, these guys have got like millions of subscribers. I'm not on that level, but me as a boxer, I could probably do them in, you know what I mean? So it's like, would they, would they do it? There's not much to gain, you know what I mean? So I need to try and find someone on a similar level. What, what is the real time booth? Because obviously people see you on, online, um, you know, when you're sipping on your wine. Uh, Angel Falls, is it? Echo Falls. Uh, Echo, Falls. Echo Falls. Echo Falls, that's it. I don't drink, so I don't know. Um, so obviously you're there, you know, you, you, your gig is you're basically ripping to people. You don't really care what you say. But where do you kind of draw the line? What, what, what I'm trying to get at is, who is a real time booth? Because people look at you and think, this guy's fucking crazy. But then obviously when I've met you outside the, the video world, you're pretty normal. We're talking now, do I seem normal? I'm sober, I ain't had a drink. I, when I turned up here, there was like loads of people here. I don't like crowds and alcohol just chills me out, it relaxes me. So it's, but it's been all right, you know what I mean? I have to get used to doing this kind of thing, you know, without drinking. It's just, it's, it's fucked up your liver, man. And Obviously, there's that many people you've had run-ins with online. Obviously, you mentioned Coogan before, uh, Sonny Edwards recently. But aren't you afraid, like, some, at some point you might say something that you might regret or might drop you in some serious shit where it's like... Because you know, obviously, it don't take a lot to piss somebody off and, and the last thing you want somebody to do is, like, you know, get physical. That type. I know you can look after yourself, but you don't want it to get to that, do you? And, and I'm guessing that isn't your aim. I don't care with Sonny Edwards. He's, like, five foot tall, five stone, but someone bigger like Joshua. He came up to me, you know, and like, I put it on me when I went to his gym in Sheffield. But, yeah, I don't know, man, I don't know. It's one of them things, isn't it? Um, what are you saying? Am I scared of someone doing me in? It's, it's not, not scared, but just like, because 
th what I'm trying to get at is, is your aim to try and get people to get, get to the point where they want to fight you physically or are you just a wind-up merchant? Do you know what it is? You know the gym I train at, yeah, in Sheffield? You know Brendan Ingle? When we all used to spar, me, Kel Brock, Johnny Nelson, Junior Witter, a load of other guys, Brendan used to sit outside the ring and chat, talk to him. You know, get us to like talk to each other in sparring. So we like get into each other's minds. So when we do it in an actual fight, we will take our opponent's mind off their game plan. You know, because we're talking to him and insulting him. I've kind of carried that out yeah, into the YouTube world, but I enjoy it. You know what I mean? It's all fun and games, man. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're worrying about a YouTube video, your life's pretty good. You know, that's like first world problems, isn't it? So I'm not, I'm not really too bothered about these people's feelings. You know, Krugan keeps staring at me, but, you know, he's got first world problems. And this thing with Sonny Edwards, you know, where, where does it end? Because you guys have been at each other's necks uh, about all sorts. Obviously, he feels quite offended by what you said. Um, is it previous beef or, you know, is this just started from, you know, him sparring that troll and obviously with what you said? You know what it is? We all like women and they're gay, yeah? So Sonny Edwards, like, out of this guy, you know, works for our seconds out because this guy sent Sonny Edwards' sister a message, you know, just trying it on her casually, sexually. So Sonny Edwards out at it, you know, publicly, you know, kind of putting it out there to the, to the, the boxing world. And, you know, we all, we all try it on with a woman every now and then, you know what I mean? So when I seen that, I thought, I'm gonna diss him, I'm gonna go all out on him. I didn't really know him before. I still don't really know him, but, you know, he's, there's a lot of things to aim for with him, you know what I mean? So, and he tried to, write a tweet saying I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bouncer at a club in Sheffield getting nine pound an hour but are you no nah, not anymore you know this YouTube this YouTube money here yeah, is is it's, it's, it's quite good you know what I mean so the money I make from YouTube it's more than I got from working as a, a bouncer it's more than I got for boxing and when I box you back I got like two grand you know what I mean That's si silly money isn't it? but YouTube is sitting down relaxing chatting it's good it's a good vibe and I just want to talk to you about that time when Anthony Joshua obviously kicked you out, out of his gym do you blame him obviously all the stuff that you've said about him and obviously first of all credit to you to having the, having the balls to walk into his gym based on after what you've said because obviously in this game everyone knows everyone and the word gets out so were you expecting that to happen when, when, when you got told to move when he came up to me I was basically sat down and he was on the other side of the gym and he was just finishing off, he was just like stretching, you know, and just finishing off. And he like waved to me, like, he went like that. So I went like that. And then I started like texting this woman and then Joshua was like walking up to me. And then he, he stood in front of me, I'm sat down. And he said to me, what did you say about me in your videos? And obviously I've done a lot of videos, I spoke a lot of drunken bullshit. So I can't remember specifically what I said to him or about him. So I said, what did I say? And then he just said, get out of my gym. And I just stood up and I was like looking at him. You know, I'm not trying to make out like I'm hard, but I was just stood there like, what? What's, what's up, man? What's going on? What's, what are we going to do? How are we gonna, are we going to fucking resolve this? To be honest, did you shit yourself? Yeah, you know what? He just got <laughs> fucked up by Ruiz, yeah? So he was in his feelings. He was all emotional. He had his bandages on. I was, out, I was outnumbered, so I was a bit on edge, but, you know, I kind of handled it with dignity. I left, I did walk out eventually, but not straight away. Probably about three minutes after he told me to get out. I held my own, but yeah. If that did end up in a fight, um, how many minutes would you last with AJ, do you think? You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on what I was just saying, you know. Because it's, it's interesting. You know Dominic Ingle, I've seen a few of your interviews with him. And like Carl Froch rang up Dominic Ingle. Because I was like talking about Carl Froch. Carl Froch rang up Dominic complaining about my videos. So Dominic said to him, like, why are you worrying about what he's saying about you? You're a multi-millionaire, yeah? you're a former world champ. You know, you've got a nice wife, Rachel Cordingly. You've got nice little kids. Why are you worrying about what this guy's saying about? This guy didn't even win an area title. He hasn't got the same kind of money you've got. So why are you bothered? So it should be the same with Joshua. These guys are too emotional, man. You know what I mean? But again, it's first world problems. So, what is the end goal for TUI FL TV? And uh, you, as uh, you know, I take it you're not planning to step back into a professional ring and uh, YouTube's your end game? No, I do want to. I've applied for my uh, boxing license, you know, British Boxing Board of Control license. So, 
I'm, I'm realistic though. I'm not going to get anywhere. I'm nearly 40 years old. I've been fucking drinking alcohol for about three years. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to get anywhere. If I couldn't do it like 10 years ago, or when I boxed Eubank about six years ago, I never will. So, well, I just, I just want to get in shape. You see this YouTube boxing scene taking off. I want to like get more content going off on my own channel, Thai FL TV. You know, like work out, workout videos, sparring, footage. You know, like I just interviewed Hasim Ratman Jr. I was talking to him about his sparring with Jake Paul. So I just want to get more content on that kind of thing. You know, for my channel to step up. But I don't know how big boxing is. I don't think the average person in the streets will know uh, Callum Smith. So is there like a lid, you know, on like how high you can go in boxing? So this YouTube shit, this YouTube boxing, it's got more eyes on it. So yeah, it's, it's quite good. Last question, Tyan. Um, basically, in a nutshell, the, the guy that you play on your channel, is that really you? And the person I'm sat here with today, is that just you drunk or, or what I'm trying to get is, is that a character that you play for your YouTube channel? You know, my cousin, who I've known for about 25 years, because he's about 25, he says that people say, like, I'm a character. Well, he knows, like, he knows me. And, like, he used to call me weird at school and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I might have some kind of mental issues, yeah? You know, a lot of us, a lot, a lot of people have, but... I'm sober now, innit? How's this going? Is this all right, yeah? Is this all good? I ain't had a drink. You've not said anything controversial. You said one thing which I'm after to cut out. You know what? What bit? Well, you're not going to say it now. What's it related to? Uh, I think you said something about um, uh. you're here to win unless you're... Oh, I said... Uh, I'm not going to say it again. That's not offensive, man. Uh, YouTube are very strict with stuff like that, so... Uh, but e either way, I'd... Unless you've got anything else to add, man, I, I don't know. I wanted to like kind of tap into the real time booth, and I know you're saying that is you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like we've all got like a a face. Like the way I I would talk to a friend, I wouldn't talk to my mum like that. You know what I mean? I'd have respect for my mum. I'm not going to talk about certain kind of sexual activities that I've been up to with a woman last night, the night before, like with my mum, but with a friend. So we've all got like different faces in it. If I had a nine to five job. Like a shirt and tie job, I won't. I won't. I'd be stiff. I'd be probably a bit like Joshua. You know what I mean? A bit politically correct, media friendly. But you can only keep up an act for so long, man. And you seen Joshua cracking up the other day after his defeat to Usyk in the rematch. It's got to be yourself, isn't it? But you're not talking of AJ though. Don't. I know you've, you've, your context. What you say about him is, ma is mainly negative because of obviously what happened when he told you to leave the gym and prior to that but would you not agree the stuff that he's done you know him and Eddie Hearn together kind of revived British boxing brought the pay-per-view market back and if you took AJ out the mix you'd have to really wonder how long would it have been obviously Tyson Fury's come along as well but prior to AJ really boxing was dying yeah back in the day it was like you know the main heavyweights in British boxing was Danny Williams, Audley Harrison and Michael Sprott, Matt Skeleton you know it was dead but now, you know, Joshua, Fiore, Dillian, Derek, Delboy, uh, Joe Joyce. We've got, it's better now, yeah. So you're saying, should I give Joshua credit? Again, why is he bothered about what I'm saying? The guy's a multi-millionaire, two-time world champ, former Olympic gold medalist, British champ, former British champ. Did he win the Olympics twice? Once, yeah. I'm saying as an ex-boxer, you've been in the game, you know, you understand boxing fully and you know how you have to, what you have to do to try and get paydays. So what I'm trying to say is would you don't respect him for what he's done and the fact that he's a multi-millionaire and just got paid stupid amounts of money to fight in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, you have to rate him, you know, from a financial point of view, a boxing point of view, you know what I mean? I just, I said this on my channel the other day, I think some of it is envy. Because, like, you know, if, like when Joshua posts something on his Instagram, you'll see women, like, in the comments, you know, like, saying, oh, I want to I wanna have your kids, I want to marry you, I want to this and that, and do this to you sexually. So other men see that, you know, who aren't doing as well, probably myself included. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it, there's a lot of hate on him. But it's one of the things, isn't it? If you're successful, people will hate. If you're a broke bastard, people will just call you a bomb anyway, so you can't really win, so just do what you're doing. You know, he's made money, but he, the way he was acting the other night after the Usyk defeat, it was kind of embarrassing. It's kind of cringe, you know what I mean? 
I've got one last question for you, Tyne. All the people that you fell out with, you know, I mean, I'm not going to name them all because your fans will follow your work. We'll have seen all the, the people that you, you slag off on your channel. But have you made peace with anyone that you've fallen out with? Uh, I don't know. It's like he sat behind his now Coogan is, but um, you made peace with him. No, he's staring at me. Man. He's trying to eyeball me. He's trying to stare me out and that. But you know, I'm just have I made peace with anybody? If you haven't, is there anyone that you'd like to make peace with? Do you know what? I'd like to go for a pint with Carl Froch, you know. We're both from Nottingham. You know, he's got that dry sense of humour. I rate him. I admire him, you know, for what he's done in boxing. I didn't achieve anything that he achieved, so... I like his dry humour, but I don't think he wants to fucking have a pint with me. But, you know, I don't blame him. So, Carl Froch first. Give me two of the names that you're thinking of that you could potentially like to go for a pint with or, or dinner. Uh, dinner, dinner, dinner. In fact, I'll tell you what, from all the people that you slag off, give me three that you'd like to sit around on a table with and just have a chat and try and make up and maybe have a laugh. So we've got Carl Froch. Uh, probably Michelle Horfelt, I think. I'd like to sit down with her and, you know, have a little... I spoke to her before. It was a good little sexual vibe, you know what I mean? But because of things I said about her, she don't want to... I don't know. She probably knows if something happened like that, I'd talk about it in my videos. It's good content, you know what I mean? So... But yeah, she's all right. She's all right. One more? Uh, I don't know. I used to work for IFL, you know what I mean? Back in the day, I used to work for IFL. Krugan's doing all right, innit? He's like the main man here, innit? Really. Just to give him a bit of praise, you know what I mean? So. 100% is you have to give them the praise because you've seen how many YouTubers are here today and are probably 90% of them are here because they probably saw what he was doing and to be fair I'm I'm doing the same thing yeah but then you have to go back and give credit to Ellie Sockback you know the Jew because he was the, like the originator of it all so you know this guy he's not really the, Krugan's not really the originator you know what I mean what does it Krugan's perfected it the OG I don't listen to that other that Ellie Sockback is that his name? Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to him. I don't, I don't know. His videos never pop up, you know, on my YouTube suggestion page, so... I don't know if he's fell off or... You know, just got bored of it. I don't know what he's doing, but I'd say Krugan's probably... But then there's Rob Tebbett, he's good as well. I just had a little chat with Rob Tebbett, I like him. He's giving me some advice, you know what I mean? KSI was getting interviewed and there was loads of people there. He just said, stick your camera in there, get it stuck in there. Find a little hole. I chuck it, get it in there. That's literally what you have to do, find a hold and get yourself in, but Rob's a top guy. Um, Tyler, I, I, I'm done, mate. If you've got anything else to say or wrap up with. No, it's good, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good seeing you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna tell them where we've seen each other last, you know, in Sheffield, in some dodgy area, you know what I mean? A little red light district, yeah? You probably cut that out, but it's good seeing you again. Just for the record, I, I drove past you. <laughs> yeah, you drove past me. You wasn't there on any kind of dodgy sexual activity, but I was there. I was there. there. We'd seen each other. That was the last time, wasn't it? It was tired. Uh, on that note, I think we'll wrap it up and appreciate your time. And I uh, hope the fans get to see uh, maybe a different side to you, minus the alcohol, and uh, just get to see what, what you're really about. Well, that's what I'm saying, but you're acting like I'm fake. Bro. What are you saying? I'm not, not saying you're fake. What I'm trying to say is like, we're just used to seeing you drunk slagging people off and you've not really slagged anyone off today. Yeah, it's, uh, like I say, we've all got faces, you know what I mean? Sometimes you have to play the part, get corporate. If I slagged off like, I've, I've just interviewed a few people today, you know what I mean? So sometimes you have to just calm down with the insults because then you just alienate yourself. So I might try and cross over, I don't know. I might just keep it as I've been. Is there any chance of you and Sonny Edwards making up? I've got a very good relationship with Sonny and, and I hate to see you and Sonny having this online spat. Obviously, I, I'm not really seeing everything that you guys have been saying back and forth to each other because I lost track, but is it is it recoverable? But he loves it though, he loves it. You know what, you must know what he's like. He, he's trying to be Eminem, you know what I mean? He's trying to be like he can that. fight though, can't he? Who, Sonny Edwards or Eminem? Sonny. Eminem used to train with Emmanuel Stewart in Detroit, you know, that's where they're from. I don't know about Sonny Edwards though. Five foot, five stone. No. You must rate him as a fighter, though. No, not really. He's best of a bad bunch. You know what I mean? Like, I just, who's like the most renowned woman in boxing in Britain over the past ten years? Would you say? You take Katie Taylor. 
Did I just say Britain? Nicola Adams, you know her. I used to spar with her, yeah, and I was, I was a shit boxer. I used to spar with her. And it was just so easy, man. It was just nothing, you know. So some of these people, like, they're the best of a bad bunch. And that's what Sonny Edwards is. You if know? he beats Martinez, then what? Yeah, if some bots and if I would have beat Eubank and this and that, could have, should have, would have, it's not, it's not realistic, is it? We're not, he hasn't beat him yet, so we'll have another chat after. Isn't it? No worries. Well, an interesting fact you dropped that you got paid £2,000 pi- £2, to fight Eubank, which sounds crazy when uh, Conor Ben's probably going to get paid £5 million. Yeah, it's mad. You're trying to rub it in, aren't you? you got like a smirk on your face when you said that, you know. I know, you know. It's crazy to think about it. You're fighting the same guy who's bringing the same amount of violence, but one guy got paid five million, who's going to get paid about five million, and you got paid two grand. What these guys here, these YouTube guys who have never really had a fight before, like, these, they're going to get paid more than like some probably world champions. There's a guy called uh, Duke McKenzie from back in the day, little, little black featherweight or whatever weight it was. He was a world champ. He got like two grand. But this was like 25 years ago, so two grand might be like 10 grand now, 50, but it's still shit, innit? These YouTubers are going to get a lot more than that. Definitely. On that note, we'll let fans... Oh, go on. Sorry, one more thing, yeah? I got paid peanuts because of me. My old trainer, Brendan, he used to say, like, come to events like this, shake people's hands, talk to them, smile, you know what I mean? Tell people that you're a boxer and that you've got a fight coming up, you know, and try and promote yourself. He took me, Lee Wood, and Cash Ali to Nottingham one time. And we set up, this was on a Saturday, we set up like a boxing ring. So we all put our rucksacks in like a square. Me, Lee Wood, and Cash Ali. And we were just body sparring. Brendan was taking us on the pads. And people were like walking past, like, what's going on here? This is like in the daytime in Nottingham, you know, in the busy city centre. And people just started like sitting around watching us, you know, drawing the crowds in and stuff like that. So it's like, it draws them in. I didn't, I, didn't really get in, I didn't really do that too much when I was boxing. That's why I was always the B-side, fighting you back at four days notice and getting paid shit money, like you just said. It's, that's on me. I was giving good advice, but I didn't stick to it. No worries, we'll wrap up. Uh, thank you for your time, Tyron. All right, thanks for that. Cheers. Nice one. Yeah.